everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas because I did. So we're just going to jump right on into this video. As you can see, I have taken my protective style out. I had it in for about a month, so it was time to take it out now. So got that done, washed my hair really, really good, and I used a lot of very moisturizing products. The same products that I used when I prepped my hair for my protective style is the same ones I used um, when I took it down. So if you hadn't seen that video, I'll link it up above in the cards. That way you can see what products I use for the prep. So, I'm just going to jump right into this video, you all. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to do a wash and go or if I wanted to do a flat twist out. And I couldn't decide, but I finally chose to do a flat twist out. So, the product that I'm going to be using to do this flat twist out is my Diva Curl Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. May I say that? No. <laughs> But anyways, I've used this for washing goes, but I have never used this for a twist out. So I'm going to try it for this twist out and we're going to see how it looks. So I already have my leave-in in. I have my hair parted already. I got my part right here on the side and we're just going to get started. I have my water bottle in case my hair starts to dry out. My detang excuse me, my detangling brush and then my combs because you know I like to comb my hair as I am twisting to make sure there are no tangles. That way when I go to take my hair apart, it will not snag and I will not have to worry that much about frizz. So, let's see. I am going to start on this side right here and just kind of work my way around. The way I do is I'll start some on this side in the front and then I'll switch over to this side. Oh y'all, I missed my hair so much. I enjoyed not having to do it, but I still missed it. All right, you guys. So you all know from my other flat twist out video that I did using the Mish, um twisting butter. I do not make parts with the comb. I use my fingers. That way when I take my twist apart, it is not hard for me to cover up those parts. And I do like to do mine small because to me, the smaller they are for my hair, the more defined the twist come out. So I'm just going to make my part. About that much right there. Just clip this out of the way. Then I'm going to make sure this is detangled with my brush. And I'm just going to start out with a little bit of this cream because I don't know how much I'm going to need for this twist out, flat twist out. And as I always say, you can always add hair products in, but you cannot take it out once you get it in. So if you put too much in, then you have to end up just washing your hair all over again or trying to make it work. So I'm just gonna work that in real good. All right, then once I got that worked in real good, I'm gonna go in with my small tooth comb and just detangle again. And then I'm just gonna start twisting. And I hope this comes out good because I'm used to using like twisting butters, products specifically made for twists, you know, twisting and twist outs. So I'm hoping this comes out good, you guys. This is gonna be the first time that I've used this uh, Diva Curl doing a flat twist out. So I'm just going to twist, try not to make these tight because I don't wanna be pulling at my edges too much. And then, of course, I detangle as I am going down, adding a little bit more product as I go. And, of course, this is not a flat twist uh, tutorial. All right, then when I get to the end, I'm just going to curl that around my finger. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do to my entire head. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up and then I will 
let you all see what it looks like was with and I'll be back when I get done okay y'all I am finally done and this is what it is looking like I'll give you all a 360 all right so I'm just going to probably let this dry overnight I don't think I'm gonna make it back tonight because sleep just came on me from out of nowhere so I'm going to just let this dry overnight and we're going to see what it's looking like in the morning. In my last flat twist video, I told you all as much as I love flat twists, there's one thing that I hate about it and that's how short it is on the very first day. So I have something that I'm going to try and I'm going to try and stretch these while they are drying. So I have my scrunchie right here and all I'm going to do is take these and pull them all to the back in the ponytail and um, we're going to see if this will help it stay stretched because I just I don't like it so short. So just going to put these behind my ear. Alright, so that's what I did. Sort of like the banding method. And then I'll just get a bobby pin for these two short ones right here. And I'll just bobby pin them up. But we're going to try this and see how this works. My only fear is I'm going to have a dent where this ponytail holder starts. That's my only fear. But we'll see in the morning. So this is the way I'm going to go to bed tonight. That's all I have for tonight. And I'll see you guys in the morning. So until then, you all have a lovely night. Okay, everyone. So it is the next day. I have taken my hair out. And this is what it is looking like. Now, at first, I did not think I was going to like it because as I was taking it loose, my ends were a little frizzy. But as you can see, I have definition. I have like really good definition all in the top. But my ends were frizzy and I wasn't liking it. But after I got it all taken loose and kind of fluffed everything together, I actually like it. So the Diva Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator did a very good job um with a flat twist out now it's not at my ends my ends are not as defined as they would if i were to use an actual twisting butter or twisting cream or something like that this right here is more of my day three day four look but i'm not mad i actually like it it's not as shrunken as it is when i use the other products um, so yeah, I like it. I think it's very, very cute. I'm in love with it. So when I'm going for a more um, volumized, you know, don't have to wait for three or four days to go by to get this look, I would definitely go for my super stretch. It looks like I've already, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like I've already worn this twist out, you know, for a couple of days. So I like it. Um, it did stretch it a little bit. Oh, speaking of stretch, you guys, I took the um, scrunchie off that I put on last night. I took it off. It, it wasn't doing anything. So I just went on and took it off. But I did keep the two pins on the side to keep the front a little bit stretched. And as you can see, um, it did stretch the front a little bit. So, yeah, but I did get rid of the ponytail. But, yeah, I like this very much. And I'm going to give you all a 360 to show you what it all is looking like. But, yeah, that's it. I did not use a pick. You know I don't like picks. I don't use pick to fluff my hair um just natural volume so yep i like it i like it a lot um there was some product residue on my hands after i took um, my hair down i did have a little bit of product residue on my hands but it's not in my hair um i guess once i mixed it with the oil while i was taking it down it just kind of came off a little bit but um yeah i don't have anything on my hair so that's a good thing no flakes or anything like that but yep you guys I like it I like it a lot and this will only get bigger as the days go by this will last me for a few days and um, I'm gonna rock it I like it 
I especially like the fact that it is not so shrunken and it is a little bit more elongated. So it did help with elongating my hair um, as far as this twist out goes, flat twist out goes. But that is all I have you guys. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up anyways, just for watching it. <laughs> if you have any comments for me, leave them down below. And actually, you guys, this is my last video for 2019. My next video will be in 2020. So the new year will be in. So I'm going to go ahead and wish you all a safe and happy new year right now. And I'm going to see you all the beginning of next year. And you guys, we are all expecting great things to happen for 2020. I am speaking that into your life as well as mine. We're going to have a good, we're, we're going to have a very good life in 2020. Prosperity, happiness, health, all of it. We are speaking it. Speak your greatness because I am going to be speaking mine. So that's all I have, you guys. Like I said, I will see you all in 2020. Have a safe, happy new year. And as always, thank you all so much for watching my videos. I really thank you for subscribing to my channel. You don't know how much that means to me. And um, I'll see you all in my next upload. Bye.